Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special, exciting unboxing of the Gucci Balenciaga collection and the three pieces I got. If you have not yet checked out my unboxing video for the 100th anniversary sneaker, go ahead and check that out. I talk a little bit about how much I loved this collection and a little bit about the pre-order process for the Gucci Balenciaga pieces, but let's get right into it and let me show you what I picked up. So what I have is this bag here with two of the items, and then I have this giant box right here. Let's start with the smaller items. All right, first of all, I know you guys have probably seen a few unboxings, but how cute is this bag seamlessly in the middle there combined the Gucci and the Balenciaga bag. I just love this. How cool is the packaging? I mean, the packaging for this collection was just a slam dunk. These bags are collector's pieces. I have this one and I have another bigger one lying around here somewhere, but I will definitely be holding on to these packaging pieces because they're just so cool. All right, first piece here, you've got the half gray box and the half green box and the updated Gucci packaging here. This beautiful Damask-esque pattern on it, looks super cute. And then you've got the burgundy ribbon. Let's go ahead and open this. So this piece I briefly saw in the store, but I did not take it out of the packaging yet. So there you go. Oh my gosh, this dust bag is so cute. There you go. There's the inside of the box. See how it says Balenciaga. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I just love the packaging, you guys. Here we go. You got the half Gucci linen dust bag with the half gray Balenciaga dust bag. And this is what's inside. So I mentioned in my previous video when I went to pre-order the collection, I believe it was in August. I got to look through a lookbook of like, seriously, it was like 400 pages of everything coming out basically in the fourth quarter, including all of the Gucci Balenciaga pieces. This piece I just loved. So this is like a key pouch holder. I actually had no idea that it came with this additional strap, which I'll open in a second, but this is very similar to the Louis Vuitton card case that I'm currently using, where you've got this zipper pouch on top. Oh my gosh, look. Got the Gucci print all inside there. And then you've got four card slots on the exterior. It has this aged brass hardware and it says Balenciaga across the front. Let's see if it feels difficult to get cards in and out. It actually feels much more easy to use than the Louis Vuitton one. The Louis Vuitton card holders are notoriously a little stiff here to get cards in and out of. I'll say that this compartment here seems quite small. It came with these little paper cards. I'm gonna put it, yeah, so it perfectly fits a little card but it's probably not going to fit much else. Let's look at the interior here. So the interior, I think it'll be hard to get it, but it has the classic where it says Gucci and then it has the style number information down below, which is part of authenticating Gucci products. You've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six numbers followed by a dot, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. So there you go. Let's open up the little lanyard that came with this. Like I said, when I saw the picture of this, I saw the key pouch item. I actually had no idea that it even came with this lanyard. So it's a nice little bonus. Oh my gosh, there you go. So it's got the GG print perfectly centered there kind of barely fits and then you've got the key end here and it says Balenciaga let's see if we can get it to focus and then it says made in Italy on the other side there and it has this little hook so you could hook it onto a lot of different things and then when you go here you use the little clasp oh if I can get it and you can hook it on right here and then there you go. I could wear it on around my neck if I were a giant nerd. Just kidding. 
Nerd alert! Could use it as a little ID thing so I don't lose it. There you go. Honestly, this piece on its own is super functional. The nice long strap is just a bonus. The strap is actually really long. I kind of wish that it was like a little bit of a wristlet length because this almost forces you to wear it on your neck, which is like a little dorky. No offense if you love wearing key cards around your neck, but I do kind of wish this was like a wristlet length, but it doesn't matter because I didn't even know I was getting this. Anyways, um, this piece is made of the Gucci coated canvas material. So it's not leather very similar to like a Louis Vuitton coated canvas material and it's really soft and malleable. It's definitely like double-sided because you can see you've got the print on the outside and the print on the inside so it's very thick and feels durable and it's got the beautiful precise edge painting. So yeah that is the first item that I picked up but this item might be less obvious when I saw the pieces coming down the runway show the second I saw this item I knew that I had to have it this piece is so me and I'm so excited that it was okay not affordable but less expensive than I thought it was going to be uh, so I had to pick this up okay I just moved everything so I can make room for new packaging. So this item actually, uh, when he showed it to me in store, it did not have a special Gucci Balenciaga box. They were running out of the packaging, but that's okay. I have one, well actually two, that I will hold on to for sure. He ended up putting it in this very special pouch for me. So you might be able to guess what it is because it is a delicate piece. But when I saw it in store, uh, I was smiling from ear to ear, can you guess what it is? Oh my God. Okay, this piece is just incredible. When I saw it in person, it was just so bright and sparkly. I knew I could not live without this. So detail on this necklace, as far as branding, you've got the Gucci logo there. And then if you flip it around, there's also a Gucci printed logo there. That is the only branding on this. The brass or the gold piece part of this is very bright yellow gold, very shiny. I'm actually wearing this beautiful plain black t-shirt so that I could try it on for you today. Let me tuck in my other jewelry. Try to get this bad boy on. Okay, I should probably have taken the plastic off, but I was too excited to put it on and I can't stop staring at myself in the viewfinder because guys, this is a whole look. I mean, I, oh my God, I love this necklace. Okay, this necklace was just like a basic t-shirt. I'm just wearing a basic high neck black t-shirt right now. Actually, this is the Skims Boyfriend tee. Highly recommend, so soft, so comfortable, always sold out, but I love this t-shirt. I need a million more of them. But like, how cute would this be with just like a standard band tee, a Harley Davidson tee when I'm like supporting my husband? <laughs> just, I die for this necklace, you guys. This is such a look. And if, so I have a really big neck. This does fit me on the last hole but I always have extenders handy if I wanted to make this longer, but honestly, it sits really nice right here where you can see all of the letters. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? This piece, just like, I just love it. I love the collaboration. It's confusing because you have like the GG in there and you're like, wait, is that real? Is that fake? I will also show you another way you could wear this and why I love this piece even more once we open this item. That's the necklace. All right, let me open the big box now. Okay guys, don't mind the background while I'm getting the room still set up here, but I wanted to give you a better view of this ginormous box. And then I will turn the camera back around to talk about the item. So. How huge is this? So this is a Gucci Balenciaga box. It's ginormous. You've got tissue paper in here. It is all packaged. Crazy. And 
then this is the item. So I do not think I have seen anybody unbox this particular size yet. So let's go ahead and take a look. I feel like I should have kept the necklace on for this reveal, but there you go. There is the beautiful dust bag, half Balenciaga, half Gucci. We all know we're obsessed. And then, you can tell what it is. So it is the medium size hourglass bag. And I know I've seen several of these unboxed in small, but I have not seen a medium yet. I wanna try to show you guys some images of how this looks on if I can figure out how to shoot it. This room is still kind of a mess while I'm getting it set up. But here is what it looks like in comparison to my giant head. It has this large handle, which actually I have a tape measure. The size of this bag, which is much bigger than the small, is about a foot. So it's 12 inches across and it is eight inches high. And it comes with the added strap, which attaches to these uh, pieces here. It is made of this durable coated canvas. So it is this very cool hourglass shape. It has the Balenciaga B right there. It is a strong magnetic closure. And then you've got the whole interior there lined in GG print. And let's remove some of this so we can get the strap out. Here's the strap. If you look at the interior of the bag, it says Balenciaga all in the interior. And then on the inside, you've got a slip pocket on this side, which has two halves. And then you have a zipper pocket on the back. And then you have the Gucci made in Italy label in the middle there. And you have another slip pocket on the back. So my dilemma with this bag is, historically, I am always a big bag girl. I think it looks better with my height. I think it looks better with my size. Also, as I've mentioned, I lived in New York for 14 years. That's where I spent the majority of my career and I was always carrying around a ton of shit. So I am a tote bag girl, stuffed full of stuff. I always wanted the biggest bag and I have run into this dilemma before. We'll get into it when I tell you my Birkin story one day. So initially when I went in to order this, I did not know much about the sizing and I figured the bigger one, I always go with bigger, bigger is better. So I went with the bigger size. The more I see images and unboxings of the small one, I am so torn on whether I wanna keep the medium, which is, which is unique and it is beautiful in its own right but I also love the small and I feel like my current job situation where I'm not really commuting back and forth, I'm not you know, carrying a ton of stuff with me like I used to in New York. I use more of my bags mainly to run a quick errand, whether it's just to go buy groceries or really to go out to dinner or like minimal events that I have to go to. I don't really need a bag this size. So I'm gonna hopefully include some mod shots in this video so you guys can see what it looks like on me and my size but I'm really looking for advice on whether you guys think I should still get the small. I feel like I don't wanna regret not getting the small, so I don't know what to do. But then every time I take it out and look at it, like in the store when I tried it on, I liked the size, I thought I wasn't gonna like it. Honestly guys, I'm so torn and I cannot decide between the small and the medium, so I totally need your advice. Otherwise though, I'm glad that I got to show the medium because I don't think, like I said, I don't think anybody has unboxed it yet. And it is super unique and cool in its own right. It has a much different function. I think if you're planning to use this as an everyday bag and you carry a lot of stuff, then this medium size is really a nice size. If you are just using it for going out and you just want like a little touch of, you know, fashion in your wardrobe, then I think that you should go with the small size. Honestly, guys, I wish I had them both here so that I could compare them and decide which one. And that's the hardest part about 
pre-ordering is you can't actually see the item. You're choosing from a book and it's really hard to decide. I actually should have gone, I, I don't know, I'm an idiot that I didn't think of this. I should have gone and tried to try on this bag just like the normal Balenciaga hourglass to see which size I like better, but I did not think of that. So from what I'm seeing, resale on these bags is not crazy. Yet, if you are interested in one, I would suggest getting one, which is why I am contemplating still whether I want the small, but ultimately it's a beautiful bag, guys. So really quickly, I wanna show you my other idea for repurposing this necklace. My idea was you could clip it here and then get another clip, uh, another lobster clip here and clip it here and then just put the dangling part inside the bag so that you can't see it. And then there you go. You've added a totally unique element to the bag and it almost looks like a bag charm. For the small size, because it's a smaller handle, you can actually just fully wrap it around, but then you can see the back side of it in the back, but that's okay because your arm covers it. But with this one, I would just get another lobster clip and I would put it right here. And like I said, I, I would throw the chain part in there yeah, that won't last but there you go how cute would that be as like a bag charm a piece of fashion jewelry repurposed if this was hanging perfectly and it actually looks really nice the way that it like perfectly hangs on the medium if you were to do it properly how cute you guys know i love repurposing my stuff but i just think that adds a totally separate element to the bag and it gives you another way to use your necklace as a beautiful bag charm what do you guys think i forgot to open this strap this strap has a ton of holes on it so you can wear it a lot of different lengths so this hole this is the last hole you get my handy dandy tape measure out here and measure from the top of the to the bottom almost 45 inches which in order to get the actual true drop, you would divide that in half. It's a little over 22 inches. That should be perfect for me. I believe I usually need around 22 for a crossbody. Let's get the strap on here. You can see it has, it says Balenciaga there on the strap. It says Balenciaga there on that side too. Yeah, I can wear this crossbody, but the handle is so big, it's like, hitting right at my boob. Let me see if I can show you a shot of what this looks like from far away. All right, I'm just putting a leather jacket on because this is how I would probably wear it with this cute necklace. Oh my God, okay. So there you go. That's the bag on its own. What do you think? Again, I'm just wearing all black. This is like what I typically wear. And then crossbody. That's the only part that I feel like I don't like is how big the handle is. It's kind of hitting like right at my boob. What do you think, guys? How do you feel about the medium? Should I go for the small or stick with it and be a little different from everyone else? Tell me what you think down below in the comments. So I mentioned in my previous video how much I just loved the show. I thought that it was a beautiful way of speaking to the brand's 100th anniversary and the history of the brand and bringing in all of the like cultural significance the brand has with the music and everything and then throwbacks to Tom Ford, to the original bamboo handles, how equestrian ties into the brand. I just loved all of that. And then of course the like shocking point was the rumored hacker collection between Balenciaga and Gucci, which are both part of the caring owned parent company. And then we saw the beautiful hourglass come down the runway and I literally screamed. I am a huge fan of the hourglass. I love the hourglass shape because it's actually a unique silhouette. We see a lot of brands releasing the same iterations of each other. You know, how many versions are there of this nylon bag, for example, but to get a unique shape and structure to a bag, like I just love the swoop, 
underneath the bag. I just think this is such a cool, modern, structured handbag. And I've been wanting one for a while. I actually love it in the embossed croc. But when I saw it in the Hacker Project, I knew this was the item I had to get once and for all. The biggest question was the small or the medium. Like I said, I always go for the bigger bag. In this case, I am still deciding whether or not that was the right decision. I love this bag. I honestly wish I could have both. It's unnecessary to have both though, so I have to decide which one is more useful for me long term and which one I want to keep in my collection. So I am totally okay with paying resale on the small if need be. I think this is such a critical piece of fashion history that I have to own this in my collection. It's just, again, what is better for my day-to-day -day use and long-term, what do I wanna have? This was the other piece that I saw on the runway that I was just like, oh, hell yes. Like the, the spelling of the words with the GG, it's so gaudy, it's so blingy. I just knew I had to have this piece and I was terrified of what this price might be. And luckily it was not that expensive. This piece I believe was around 450, 470. I'll put the price up on the screen. The necklace was 1360. That's still expensive, but I think what you're getting for the money there really makes up for the price. You've got all the jewels, you've got all these letters. It's not just like one single piece. Like if you think about the Dior necklace, I think it's like $700 for the CD there. You get so much for that price here. And then the price of the hourglass bag and then Gucci bags in general, this bag I believe was 3,250. The smaller one I believe is 2,500. There's not a huge difference there. Um, they're not going for too crazy over that price in the resale market currently, but they could go up. The other thing I love about this necklace is like I showed you, it could be repurposed as a bag charm. And I just think that is such a cool idea. You guys know if you've watched some of my other videos like the Kusan video, I love versatility when you're spending a lot of money on luxury items and I think this item could be used as a bag charm that makes it really versatile. My favorite part about the Hacker Project is definitely that it's just a conversation starter. This is the first time we've seen two luxury brands collaborate in a really long time. There was actually two brands collaborated. I believe it was like Christian Lacroix. I gotta look it up. They collaborated, but it I cannot think of, you know, to my knowledge, since I've been a collector, two luxury brands collaborating like this. So Balenciaga and Gucci, both under Karen, the Caring Parent Company. This was a huge fashion moment, especially for a collector like myself. And I knew I had to invest in some pieces. If you've been watching my channel, I haven't bought in a lot from Louis Vuitton this year because I spent most of my money on this collection this year. This will be my Christmas present to myself. My favorite part about it is that I actually like that it looks like an item that you could have bought off Canal Street. I think that it's a conversation starter. You're confusing people with your art and fashion and handbags are my artwork of choice. And I love something that is just a conversation starter, something that makes somebody stop and look and ask you questions, whether they love it or they hate it. The point is that it's starting a conversation and that is what art is meant to do. So for me, a lot of people might think this is tacky and that's totally fine. You are allowed to have your opinion and what I say does not is not set in stone. This is all personal opinion. I love this. I don't care if it looks like it's fake or it's confusing. That's the part that I like about it most. And then there were two pieces from the Balenciaga part of this collection that I'm super interested in. The tote bag that says uh, this is not the Gucci bag. And then I love the big chunky scarf with the BBs on it. I think that they both did such a good job, but this was by far my number one favorite bag in the collection for sure. Honestly, this is a big bag. It could fit quite a bit. Like there is no problem fitting a phone in here. It actually fits perfectly in that back pocket there. And then you have plenty of room inside. The one thing I will say about the hourglass is that this flap, it is not an easy bag to get into. You would have to be taking this bag off and like really, you have to like really pull it back and shove your hand in there. But eventually when I get more use out of it, I can definitely provide more perspective on how it wears and how easy or difficult it is to get into it. But overall, I know that the Gucci Balenciaga 
collection was highly debated. Either you love it or you hate it. It's very polarizing, but I loved it. I had to own, well, these two pieces. I added in the card case because I have a pretty vast small other goods collection and I felt like this was something that needed to be in there. I also wanted to test out the functionality of Gucci's coated canvas material because I wanted to compare it to Louis Vuitton. So I'm excited to get some wear out of this for sure. Please like this video, especially if you're here till the end. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. I have a few Louis Vuitton Nego pieces that I purchased that I want to show you guys in an upcoming video. You'll also be getting a closet update very soon if it's not up already. And yeah, I've got a lot of work to do to put everything and organize everything in this closet. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.